Hey everyone, welcome to another video review. This is the Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Leader Class Optimus Prime from Wave 1. He is WFC-E11, and yes, you can see he is their truck with a full-blown trailer and everything, which we haven't seen that in a while, at least on the main line. And yeah, he comes in the big old leader box, green and everything, which uh, maybe he didn't have to come in such a big box, but anyway. Uh, and he also came and posed really weird. If people have seen those pictures where he's like, like doing some weird splits for some reason. But yeah, green... There's the Rise logo, 8 plus, uh, Optimus Prime and Cybertronian. You got a nice bit of artwork there of him on the battlefield doing his thing. You got uh, Autobot logo and Galvatron there on the top. You got, of course, the uh, line artwork. Yeah, the, yeah, the line artwork here on this side. And on the bottom, you got, you know, once again, warnings and whatnot and authentic and, hey, it's recyclable. And on the back, you got a whole bunch of, uh, you know, all the stuff, some of the stuff he can do, and of course, warnings and, and more copyrights and whatnot on the back as well, the barcode, and there you go. Inside, he has, of course, his uh, insert, which is very glossy and messing with stuff, but yeah, he's got those little, little red lines, and he's got this decoder thing inside, and you can, you know, look, hey, look, there's all the lines, and look, that says Micron, which, hmm, how about that? That's a thing now, still. And he's got his instructions, which fold out quite a bit. And again, pretty darn decent, although I would not exactly use the order they use for transforming them. But hey, what do I know? And yes, you got Optimus Prime in his truck mode here. Yep, he can roll as you can see, he can roll pretty well. Yep, he's a red, blue truck, silver stripes, and a gray box trailer with blue striping as you are and you must expect any more. Well, actually we haven't expected this in mainline for all. He hasn't come with a trailer in a while in mainline, except for that, uh, that one studio series. Yeah. Other than that though, it's been, it was a masterpiece and yeah, if you wanted a trailer, yeah, you had to get one if you don't figure out that yourself because Siege didn't come with one. Uh, Combiner Wars didn't come with one. Times Return kind of came with one, depending if you got that one. Yeah. Well, like Power of the Primes did. But that was also a weird thing. But yeah, trailer. Just a trailer. Dot it. Doesn't come in armor. It's a base or whatever. It's a trailer. But yeah, he rolls. Uh, nice. Lots of silver up here. Blue translucent windows, including silver trans back or silver backing on the back of these ones, so it looks nice. Uh, blue translucent headlights and stuff. Silver on the grill. A darker, like gunmetal almost, I think, on right there on this this venting. Uh, gray. Either, I think that's like actual just gray plastic and then silver painted rims all along here. You got a nice silver picked out uh, gas tanks on the side. And all that. Yeah, and of course, again, blue striping Autobot symbol, and that's pretty much it. And I guess lots of uh, rigid detail there on there. On the back, yeah, there's no uh, there's no tail lights picked out or anything on the back. Yeah, uh, you can actually, as you see, he can you know turn, but not that far. You see, you know, it goes about that far before it stops. Not a whole lot, but you can still do it. And of course, yeah, you can see there's the blue there, and it comes off and everything. And if you want the trailer off, there's also this thing, so it uh, can stand, no problem. And I got the gun stored right here, you can see. And also, yeah, there's other thing, is silver smokestacks. I got the gun stored here, you can do that, it kind of helps fill in this uh, hole, because, yeah, there's a big old hole right there, and so this kind of helps fill that in. You can also, if you really want, there's peg holes down here, you can, uh, the one of the things is to tell you in the instructions and store it right there, that does work. Um, either one of those pegs. I wish you could store it on this one right here, but it doesn't quite fit, at least not easily. Unfortunately, so there's that. You can, uh, yeah, but yeah, I, I prefer it this way just because, again, that does fill in things and doesn't get in the way at all for uh, truck mode. Yeah, so before I transform this guy, I'm going to, you know, go ahead and take a look at the base a bit, just a little bit, because, yeah, hey, look, it does open like it's supposed to, you know. Got the ramp that folds down, all that stuff. You got, yep, this thing can come up. Oop, yeah, it can also accidentally collapse this thing. Yeah, this thing can come up, you know, bring the claws out. Yeah, it got multiple hinges, and again, collapsing on itself, because that's that doesn't, that doesn't hold, like, lock in very well. And you got hinges here, you can rotate up here. Uh, these are on ball joints, these little claw things. Then this you got this hinge as well if you really want it sticking up. In fact, 
believe. Can that work? Oh no. Oh man, this peg hole right there. If it wasn't for that, you could do that sort of thing. That was an oversight on their part. Oh well. Yeah, you can do all that stuff if you want. And this, yeah, this of course has the the stuff that's been going on Earth Rise with um, all the stuff it can uh, attach a bunch of ramps here if you want. And again, that's a thing. So I'll go ahead and put that off to the side for now. And we'll go ahead and look at this. So if you haven't already, take the gun off and put it off. The, and uh, this transforms by just doing that. Do that. Yeah, so this guy, to transform him, first thing you want to do is take the the fuel tanks and collapse them in until they tab into place. Then you want to take the wheel arches here and untab them and move them out. Untab, move out. Untab this and move it out. Untab that and move it out. And then finally untab this thing and just move. Actually, I don't think that tabs in. But yeah, move this th those out as well. That frees a bunch of stuff up. And was, here, what I like to do here is uh, move this back section down a bit, just out of the way, so you can free up the arms that easily. Get them out of the way. Take the head. They take this panel, open up like this, rotate the head out, and then move this up. And there's a little, this little slot here. We'll go in this tab, and you want to to make it easier. Just move this slightly forward so it lines up, and then push it in. That will bring it back like that. Said, and go ahead and I guess extend the legs out all the way. I like to already just you know go ahead and uh, take uh, untab them from each other, bring these knee pad things down and tab them in, and open up the feet like so. Standing them up, and then we'll go ahead and move this up so we can see stuff. There you go. That's a large chunk of it done. You can actually, some people have actually figured out how to do kind of a weird boxy mode from here. I'm not going to show it, but uh, here, we'll take these, um, these these panels right here and move them up and tab them in place. Like that. You can then take this and untab it from the bottom and move it up like this. And this is where I go ahead and rotate this around. So, hey, look, now it's uh, facing the proper way. And these pits right here, you want to open this up entirely like this. And then you can take these pieces and uh, these panels and fold them in like that. Fold these ones in as well. Take this part and untab it from the, the bottom of the truck cab. Move that around. Move it in like this so it's all collapsed. And then bring it back in. Now tab it into place. And then you bring this back down and tab it over top of the abdomen. There you go on that. Take the built bumper, move it up, and collapse the wheels in like this. And then bring the arms down, rotate them at the biceps forward like this, so the silver strap on the outside. Then open this panel and rotate the hands out. Like so. And like so. And there you go. There you have Optimus Prime in his robot mode. And yes, another line and another Prime, as always, for now, always and forever, as long as we all live. <laughs> It's just it's inevitable. Just accept that we'll always get a new Optimus Prime. With every line, he's always going to be a well red and blue dude, pretty much, because we can't let go of G1. We cannot let go of what happened 35 years ago. <laughs> yeah, um, it looks really good. Um, it's very, very similar to uh, yeah. I'm on, I'm on this one's a little loose, unfortunately, but that tech panel. But yeah, it looks very good. It's very evocative of G1 Prime. It's the, what people have been calling uh, Earthrise and stuff, which is mini masterpiece, and that's not a bad assessment. It's actually loosely based off the Siege mold in many ways. This has it has the same head and the same lower legs, basically. You can see that with the, those panels even has the extra peg hole that Siege the Siege version had. By the way, the Siege version is also compatible with the trailer, just as an FYI. Um, yeah, it's got the same legs and even has some of the same stuff, like all the, the, the pin and every, the, the hinges and everything is there for the wheels to rotate around like the Siege version did, but they don't do that. It's just filled in with a bunch of gray plastic. I find that weird they did it like that, but hey, they did. Um, yeah, other than that though, it's, uh, pretty much everything up here is in totally new molding, although they did use the same panel trick, um, for the, the cab that Siege did, although they do it a little bit differently. And they take care of the wheels differently too. But uh, yeah, it looks great. Uh, you got still got the blue windows. Now there's silver striping here and this new grill here. You got the yellow, blue, silver on the, the shins and the toes. 
you know, nice painted blue hands because that's important for some people because apparently a lot of the prototypes are showing gray and people are freaking out. And turns out that was not a non-issue. They're blue. Unless you wanted them to be gray, in which case, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. He's got his of course, good old peg holes all over the place. Here, here, here. Um, peg hole in the back. So it's time she sees stage port right there, too. And peg holes on the bottom of the feet. Four total on the bottom of the feet. Yeah. Looks good. You can hold his gun either hand. Uh, there's this peg, which is mostly for the storage and whatnot, forward storage and piece, piece things, but I'm kind of annoyed it's there because now it's like if I put it in the left hand, you cut this peg sticking out, and that bothers me because I like my Transformers left-handed, and uh, yeah, it's, now it's, there's this peg there, and that annoys me a little bit, but it's not a huge deal. And that's a personal hang-up, not a real actual slight against the figure. Yeah. Um, he just looks like a really good Optimus. Um, there's been some things like... Um, some people like his legs look a little long. They're not actually long. They're roughly the same size as Siege. It's just uh, right here. It's not the legs. It's here. This this area, the crotch area on this figure is taller than it is on like Siege's. In fact, hold on. Yeah, so like yeah, you can kind of see this is the, the 35th anniversary version. But yeah, you can kind of see they're pretty much the same height. But you can see that this area is a little different. Yeah, these heads are the same mold. On the regular Siege head, there's silver paint between the eyes. You know, the thick's got the same blue painted eyes, but here the, it's unpainted between the eyes, so it's like... Yeah, you can see right there, it's blue, just blue paint. Or no blue paint at all, or paint at all between the eyes. So, unfortunately, uh, that's a thing. Yeah, um, you can see that, you know, they're... There's some similarities, like, again, the legs are, like, identical from the front. And you can also see that the mechanism, uh, I'll move this out of the way. Yeah, you can see that right there, the mechanism for the, for the leg. You can see that that's all there for this, but it doesn't exist anymore, so it's kind of a weird... It's yeah, it's something that exists solely because it used to, and they didn't engineer, they didn't remove it from them. I guess that's probably gonna be too expensive. But yeah, that's a thing. Um, yeah, the trailer here, as you can see, uh, multiple things here. You can kind of have the, you know, his uh, he's dying. <laughs> oh no, Optimus is dying again. You're gonna have that whole thing, or this is gonna try and so hard to hurt, help him. <laughs> Why won't you live? Yeah, you can do that. Of course, you can do the good old repair bay. Yeah, you can do that sort of thing. You know, just the. To... Although, yeah, trying to get this position in a good way is kind of. Yeah, you can do that if you want. Yeah, you can do repair bay stuff if you want. That sort of thing. Is that this piece right here can come off and hey look and it's got a little peg hole because it can become a shield so you get a little buckler you know so you can you know cover, you know, cover up the shots and all that stuff yep got a little buckler there and that's not all just get that in the way another thing the trailer can do this can actually this part can come off and then there's a peg on back here and this this reason for this peg is well you have this a whole mode which you can just peg this on in the back right here and now he's got this hanging out I guess you can have that just come up ha ah. yeah big on there and this guy kind of, ah, ha that sort of thing I guess you can do that if you want Kind of, it's kind of a goofy little fun thing, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of goofy. Yeah, it's goofy, but it's kind of fun. So you got that whole thing going on. It's pretty neat. And the other accessory he has, which is a good one, which is you can open up the chest here and hey, look, there's a matrix. Yep. Because I think the last prime to have a matrix was, in fact, the prime, power of the primes. Well, main line, I should say. You can kind of do the, you know, the. The pose of him, like hold, you know, kind of holding it open, thing, that sort of deal. The ha, you know that, that 
see yeah that the looks like it's holding he's holding it open yep yeah the matrix comes out and the matrix you know nicely picked out silver i guess that copperish paint nice blue translucent in the middle yeah you can see that that's pretty neat that that exists I like that um as for holding it um you can kind of just not very well it's like you can kind of get him to hold it it's just a pain in the butt because he doesn't hold it super well i mean you kind of have to wedge it in and just hope he holds it like that or like you can do that you can try to have him do the you know opening thing but it's not easy and you can have yeah, you can kind of wedge it in like that so okay it's like holding it that's actually a pretty solid hold on it but yeah, if you're trying to do like, you know, the actual like, you know, light or darkest hour type stuff, yeah, that's good luck. <laughs> I kind of got it once, but it's not easy. And you're kind of messing. Yeah, it's it's not easy to do, but I'm not going to waste my time or yours doing that. So it can be done kind of, but it doesn't look amazing and whatnot. And of course, you can also, you know, store the gun on the back if you want. You know, just store it back here. Whatever you want. Or... I guess you can actually put it on the side of his arm, too. Ah, see? He can do it, too, Megatron. <sighs> yeah. Uh, so articulation, though. Got a ball-jointed head, so left, right, up, down. Lots of waggle, just like the Siege one. His shoulders can move forward and ba uh, back all the way around. There's also, I guess, a reverse butterfly, which is great. You got outward, about 90 degrees. That's all you get. Bicep swivel. You got a... Elbow bend right there. You got a wrist swivel. Full 360 there. You got opening f fingers. That's unusual in mainline. That doesn't happen very often. But you got opening finger, which can, you know, you can get some poses out of that. He's got a waist swivel, which unfortunately is all limited by the this stuff back here. It goes that far. It's just, for the most part, that's pretty much what you need for any good looking pose. But if you really need uh, more for whatever reason, you have to bring that down first, and then you got, then you can have uh, more waist swivel. And you only have to bring it down that far, but yeah, good luck um, with anything making anything look good when you got that all hanging out. Got hips, good to go forward. That far, it's the whole piece right here. You got again limited by this, so you got back that far, outward all the way. Nice thigh swivel. That's unhindered. Got a very deep knee bend, which is nice. Yep, and ankle tilt, which goes out all the way. There's just a kind of a click point there, but yeah, I get all the way out. And you got a bit of toe and heel that can close up if you need that for whatever reason. Yes, that is that is Earthrise Optimus Prime. Um, Here's the thing, yeah, a lot of people have been kind of feeling like, you know, kind of the, this is, why didn't you give us this before? You kind of tricked us with, you know, this weird thing, idea of, uh, you tricked us with the Siege Prime, you know, they, and to then release this one, which is even more, slightly more G1 accurate, and even has a more G1 accurate truck mode. And I get that feeling like, oh, yay, they, they, they kind of tricked us, so we bought this Prime thinking it was going to be the perfect Prime, and then, hey, look, they tricked, released another one, which is even more perfect. Which is like, I, I kind of get it, but for me, it's like, I just buy Optimus Primes all the time. Like, I have a massive Optimus Prime collection, so like, I don't care as much, personally. But again, that's a me issue. So it's like, I get the I, problem of like, you just released the Siege one, and you did, you're did still kind of releasing the Siege one is in Walmarts through the 35th for anniversary version. And... You're releasing this one now. And of course, there's also the, even the Galaxy Upgrade or Prime from Siege as well. But yeah, it's like, yeah, and not only that, he blatantly uses bits from the Siege version. So, like, it's I can understand why some people might be a little miffed about this one kind of coming out the way it is. Especially now, hey, look, they added the trailer and stuff to justify leader price points. Like, yeah, that's the other thing. is It's a leader price point between 50 bucks. And, like, is the trailer worth an extra uh, $20? <laughs> Is the trailer worth an extra twenty dollars? I guess technically no, but for a lot of us, like the trailer is important. I must have a trailer for my Optimus because everyone, every single time you get a, I've seen this every single time with a, when Optimus releases without trailers, what trailer fits on this Optimus? 
every time because everyone wants a trailer, even though for the most part it's going to be it's going to be sitting on the shelf, you know, just as a box, just off to the side somewhere. And that's all it's going to be. It's like then it's going to have robots on top of it because that's what we do, or it's going to be in a box. That's what we do. We, we insist having the trailer, and then it just kind of gets in the way of display because we're weird. <laughs> But uh, it is a good toy, but I can understand why some people are upset about Siege. And for some people, Siege is actually perfectly fine. They don't really need a leader class one that's, you know, still the same size as the Voyager Siege Prime. So I can get that. It is another one of the things that's a leader class toy, which is, you know, a tiny bit taller than a Voyager. A head taller than a Voyager. So it's kind of a... Or at least that version of Voyager. So it's kind of like in that weird... Um, if you didn't buy Siege Prime and you want a new Op G1-style Optimus, this is a good choice, honestly, because you get the full package. But you might wait for it, because this is Wave 1, so this is going to go for discount for sure. But if you're not collecting a lot of Primes, this is probably one you can possibly skip, especially if you're happy with the Siege one. Or maybe you weren't happy with the Siege one. Maybe this because this one also does not have any of the... Uh, well, battle damage stuff on it at all. So there's that. That might be a bonus for you. I mean, it's a good prime. Otherwise, it's just one of those things where it's like, yeah, it might not be your cup of tea because it's another prime. It's a hard call to make. But yeah, 50 bucks is going to be really difficult for people to swallow. And I was fine with it because, I don't know, again, I kind of get what they're doing with the later class now. But I'm okay with it for the most part. But some other people might disagree, and that will be a, a thing, I guess. So, yeah. Um, if you want prime, if you want a prime, yes, go for it. If you're not into prime, and just or wait for a discount, or if you're not into prime, you're not going to be finding anything special here. Or if you're just sick of prime, yeah. So uh, that's it. I think it is a little rambly, but it's kind of this is one of those that's kind of hard to get a come to. Um, a good solid conclusion on because just so many variables on it but it's a good toy i will say that it's very much a good toy even if the transformation is a little simple but eh, i don't mind too much but the truck mode is fantastic yeah uh and of course the robot mode is amazing as well so there's that um i hope you figured out yourself further from this and my babbling i hope you came to a decision on this one but that's it I hope you liked it. I hope you found it informative or entertaining and not too babbly this time. I uh, hope you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, check out my Twitter. I'm at Nemesis Prime One. Check out uh, Patreon, Coffee, those things if you like want to help me out a bit. And uh, there'll be more video reviews as time goes on. Things aren't stopping there. And yeah, I hope you see you next for the next one. So, bye. <laughs> <laughs>